Hi, welcome back again. We will continue on with our edge cutting tools and talking about wood chisels. So, regardless of what type of carpentry work you do, you probably at some time had a use for a chisel. The uh, standard chisels will either have a wooden or a plastic handle. If you're using a wooden handled chisel, you should always strike that chisel with a wooden mallet to prevent it from rounding over and breaking off and then shortening the life of your chisel. Chisels can last a lifetime if you treat them properly. So the first one I want to talk about, I don't have one with me, is a firming chisel. You can see on this one there's a, a small beveled area on the side. This is a beveled edge chisel. A firming chisel would be square at the top, parallel sides. Designed for rougher carpentry work. So if a framer needed a chisel in his pouch, he would probably have a firming chisel. Okay, now to the more common uh, beveled edge chisel, like I said. Double on the side, sharpened at uh, normally about 25 degrees, and then honed at about 30 degrees. Okay, so beveled edge chisel. This is your standard one. You can also get a beveled edge butt chisel. It has a shorter blade, shorter and wider blade. These ones are specifically designed for cutting hinge gains in doors with that little recess for your hinge in your, in your door or in your jam. Okay, a butt chisel. Last one we want to have a look at is just the uh, cold chisel. So it's hard forged steel designed for cutting non-tempered metal or chipping stone or concrete and things like that. So you would normally use it with a small sledgehammer to chip out pieces of stone or concrete. And that's a quick look at some wood chisels. <laughs>